Hey guys, Jack Lair here on uh, starting a video game collection number three. Uh, today I'm going to cover boxes, and by boxes I mean cases or boxes or whatever. Uh, the two latest formats for movies were Blu-ray and HDVD. One was red, one was blue, and they were amazingly the same, close to the same size. Eh. And the PS3 boxes are the same size except for the width of them. As you can see, they're a little bit thicker. Um, and when you open them up, there's just a spot for the game, the manual. You should read this. I shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> the game, the manual, and that's about it. So they're going to be a little shorter than the... Xbox 360, which I don't have, but I do have Xbox games, which are kind of basically the same thing. As you can see, they're just a little bit shorter. They're about the same width. Uh, Xbox and Xbox 360 come in a variety of colors. There's green, there's uh, silver for the platinum hits. Some of them are black, some of them are all kinds of different colors. So they're a little hard to spot. Uh, if they don't have the cover in the front, but the, if it's green, it's more than likely either an Xbox or an Xbox 360 game. Uh, the Nintendo GameCube games uh, were a little square on the edge. I don't know if you can tell, but this is kind of a, it's still rounded, but it's definitely more of a square. This is more rounded, easier way to tell. Uh, the other thing is there's a kind of a funny cut when you open it up. Most of the cases have that weird cut in them, so if you're looking at them from that direction, you can tell. Um, also, when you open it up, it'll actually say Nintendo GameCube has the spot for the memory card, the game, and the manual and they came in a variety of colors as well but most of them stick to this same shape uh, ah. uh, the CD jewel case is how uh, PlayStation games Dreamcast games were sold here in the United States so they all kind of look the same. An easy way to spot it is PlayStation will have something like this, either green or black. Dreamcast usually has a curve right there out of the out of the cover art. Ba, 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 ba. DS case. This is just the one I grabbed. I don't actually have the game. I just picked it up because I needed a spare case. But these are the only ones that come in this shape. They have a spot for a GBA game if you want to start collecting them that way. Or the DS game, and then of course the instructions. Once again, they have that really funny cut. And I don't know why they do that, but it sets them apart. It makes it easier for me to spot when I'm looking. So I am very happy. Uh, Nintendo 64 games. Uh, the easiest way to notice these is that one side's red, one side's green, one side's yellow, one side's blue. And they put, while they don't have the name on the red side, at least not usually, I have to go back and check all mine, they're easier to spot because of those colors. Now the Super Nintendo boxes are the same shape and design of box, but instead of the colors, they just say the game, pro quarterback, Pro quarterback, pro quarterback, pro quarterback, and then pro quarterback, pro quarterback, pro quarterback. They say the name everywhere on the game. And that's the easiest way to find these. So if you look in the stack and you see black, it's more than likely going to be a Super Nintendo game. If you see green, red, or any other of the variant colors, it's more than likely going to be a 64 game. Uh, Genesis came like 
this in the clamshell. Uh, from what I remember, the Genesis was one of the first... Sega always did a good job with this, now that I'm thinking about it. Anyways, but they had a spot for the game. There's also uh, the... There were two styles of Genesis games. There's the long style, and then there's the more square style. And the square style will have another bracket in there. They also have a spot for the instruction manual. And those are fairly easy to spot. They kind of look like VHS, but they're a little bit shorter. The whole reason I'm doing this video is because I walked into a store and I found this. And had no clue what was going on. So I looked at this end. No clue what's going on. I looked at this end. No clue what's going on. And then finally I got to this side and was able to make out Odyssey 2. Now the Magnavox Odyssey 2 is from a while ago, but these games all have the same box type. Uh, they all have the very distinct art style on them. Very colorful. They had what I would guess would be a tab to hang it on, but all of mine are gone. So, but when you open it up, it's just a little cardboard case. It's got the game in it. Just right there. They've got little handles on the top. So there's the game. And the instruction manual is actually contained in the side of the top. Which is very cool for just a folded up piece of cardboard. Not even really cardboard, just... I don't know. Anyways. Uh, those are all the boxed games that I have. Uh, there are many YouTube videos that will explain the rest. I encourage you to find out what the boxes look like. And I hope that this really helps you in finding the games you're looking for. Alright, take care.